Today, once more, they will replenish themselves, cheat death again, through the power of their source. Matt Stone, 180DegreeHealth.com Hey, what's going on? Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health talking today about candida. Big bad candida that's being portrayed as the root of all evil all over the internet and beyond. Um, hopefully not even with your local alternative healthcare practitioner, but I'm afraid that they're probably on that anti-candida bandwagon as well. Just wanted to talk a little bit about the physiology of candida and sort of just help you understand what's more of an accurate story about candida. Because like most things in health, wellness, nutrition, whatever, we get these huge oversimplifications that we sort of wrap our minds around. What's, yeah, that's a good gesture for wrapping your mind around. Um, we sort of wrap our minds around these really simple stories. And these simple stories are far removed from the greater complexity or just even the simple reality. They're often just uh, taken out of context and it's just not the appropriate story for what's really going on. Now, with Candida specifically, uh, we believe, or at least the, the consensus is, <laughs> we believe that by cutting sugar out of our diet or cutting carbohydrates and going really low on carbohydrates, which some more extremists recommend in these sort of Candida cleanses, um, that we can just starve this Candida away. And what I've seen in my many years of uh, communicating with people is that some of the most severe cases of Candida are amongst those who have been on a low or even zero carbohydrate diet for an extended period of time. And as I'm pursuing Josh, Josh and Jeannie Rubin's Metabolic Blueprint program, um, module one here, we're really discussing the physiology of candida. And I'm learning a little bit more about the specifics there. Now I've observed that in you know people when they try to starve the candida, even if they eat just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of sugary foods, they have these massive, massive candida blooms that take place. So yes, they may be starving it and keeping some of the symptoms at bay, but even the smallest amount causes this huge rebound bloom. They be actually become more and more sensitive. And uh, as we're discussing in the metabolic blueprint, uh, candida, when it's starved of sugar, will actually send out filaments to expand its reach, to try to dig deeper, kind of like when you uh, you know keep water away from a plant and then you flood it, causes the roots to go deeper. Well, candida has a similar effect. And when you do have a sugar excess or a sugar surge, it causes these massive candida blooms and you actually have some really substantial problems with this. So, uh, you know, it's not a matter of just avoiding sugar and starving the candida. It simply doesn't work that way. You can actually make yourself more hypersensitive to sugars and things like that. And you'd be better off eating lots of sugar to overcome your candida problem which is really just more of a, I don't know, just an indicator that your body is not functioning correctly when you have a candida bloom in response to eating in sugars and things like that. It usually points to a disturbance in glucose metabolism and if you fix that, boom, the candida, no longer a problem. So rethink candida and think a little bit deeper as to what can be done. I've come up with a saying over the years which is you can run from candida but you can't hide. I say the same thing about carbohydrates and a lot of other things because yes you might get some short-term symptom relief uh, when you do certain restrictions and things like that but eventually you're either going to cause yourself health problems by following that route or your cravings are just going to overtake you and you're going to have to return to eating those foods and when you do it's going to be a lot worse than it was and than it ever was before when you first started. So I'm sure you're thinking, how in the world is candida going to go away somehow? Or am I going to stop having symptoms with candida if I'm feeding it sugar? Well, I'm not talking about feeding it just any kind of sugar. You actually want to feed it sugar. And there is a type of sugar and a form of sugar that is actually, this may sound a little strange, but it's actually carnivorous. And that sugar will go inside of the body and it will actually eat the candida. Now what I have here is uh, you know, a gator and uh, this gator is uh, very high in sugar and gators are carnivorous species so they actually go into the body and they eat all that candida. Um, what I do is uh, you know, I just kind of insert the uh, head kind of like this. Oh, mm. I hope get in there and clear out that candida. It's pretty sweet. Hopefully that helps to get you thinking a little bit 
differently about Candida, realizing that there's a lot more to the story there, and at the very least, just you know, mind erase yourself of anything that you've been programmed with about Candida feasting on sugars and the belief that you can somehow starve the Candida and overcome this problem just by cutting out those you know problem foods. It just it doesn't work that way. Um, I'll be talking more about this in a post coming out tomorrow. I'm finally going to specifically address the GAPS diet. I have a lot of people ask me about that and uh, they're surprised when I have you know fairly negative sentiments about it. But we're going to look a little bit more in depth in that and also with uh, Josh and Jeannie Rubin at the end of April here we're going to discuss uh, I think we're going to call it something like uh, filling in the gaps on the GAPS diet or something like that. Taking a, a much deeper look at the entire gastrointestinal system and uh, looking at some of the more root problems of why we have intestinal permeability or why we have these uh, gut dysbiosis. The problem with supplementing probiotics and a whole lot of other things that I'm sure you guys will want to check out. Anyway, that's it. I'm signing off for today. Thanks again. Catch me every Wednesday and Saturday for a new video. I'm Matt Stone of 180 Degree Health. Subscribe to the 180 Degree Health channel now or you will be abducted by lesbian Nazi hookers from outer space and forced into a weight loss program. The further from here, girl, the better. Where the air is fresh and cool.